Here we are at AMO in Collinsville, Illinois in July of 2019. And Jeff, this is for you. Um, this is actually a 401 that we saw this morning. Um, so it's not a stock vehicle at all. Um, and it's been reworked and cared for very meticulously. Here's another 401 car. And they look like javelin bucket seats. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out this is not a stock vehicle. Um, crushed velour interior, sort of 70s kind of feel. Um, and a non-tilt column looks like manual brakes and a stock pedal and certainly not a stock shifter. I'm focusing on all the Rambler cars today and all the non-Javelin, non-AMX stuff because there's a ton of that everywhere. Um, the Javelin and AMX guys don't hate me, but I have more fun looking at a pacer. There's the sweet scent of a lot of cars running very rich, which is discouraging, but it is the it goes along with the age of carbureted cars. Nice two-tone to this pacer. Pretty car. I wonder if that is the world famous bittersweet orange color or not. Over sneaking over here, there is a machine, and there is a um, Hornet SC360. This looks like it's a fairly stock car. Uh, it's not showing discs as original, and it's not. It's got drums up front. Looks like a fairly original car, perhaps with the exception of the hood scoop detail. And the luggage rack on the back, I don't know if that's original or not. I don't know enough about this car. Jeff, this one's for you. It's a nice machine. Very well done. And in front of it. They're all in on west, but they're all rusty. Is an SC Rambler from Manitoba, Canada. And I have a, a wide angle lens on today to try to catch everything. So I may need to back away a little bit. To get the whole car. Very pretty car. And I'm not sure what this is. 59 Rambler Super or Custom? I don't know the difference. I think the Deluxe has a single headlight, but I don't. I'm not an aficionado on this stuff. Um, this has the flash matic push button automatic transmission. And I have a pair of those taillight lenses sitting in my toolbox right now. And <clears throat> there's a 58 Rambler American Super. Basically Nash revisited. No judging. We pull in here. And he has a 196 with an unusual air cleaner hookup. The guy pulls in behind me says, where are you I'm going to come up here and here's a here's an SC Hearst Rambler coming from Georgia looks like a 68 or 9 very pretty car with the vintage air setup and a little bling up front
Chrome distributor, Chrome AC. And this is a non-AMC powered Colorado okay. car. <laughs> oh, it says right there, non-AMC powered. So is that what you want, Jeff? They got it all in there. Jeff, for you, another pacer. This one's a wagon. Yeah, that car's a wagon. Yeah. And it looks like this <laughs> was driven here from Colorado, too. AMXs and Javelins pulling in left and right. And here we have a Pacer X. How cool is that? You can see it's a rust belt car if you look underneath the back bumper and look at the left tip of the back bumper. That one's seen its share of road time. Another javelin makes the cruise in. I'm going to turn off for right now and go over and see one last car. <laughs> 